I'm Melissa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So I started out with wanting to make this video about sharing my favorite uplifting and motivating audiobooks. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know I have a slight obsession with listening to audiobooks. It's just something that really, really works for me. It motivates me and I just find that listening to a book read out loud has such a bigger impact than me reading it um, and I just love them so much. So I was going to film a video sharing some of my favorites with you and as I was kind of writing them all down and writing some notes, I remembered this one aha moment I had from the book The Fifth Agreement and it was just such an amazing moment. It was very transformative for me and you know when you just hear something and it just clicks and it just changes you. You're just like, oh my goodness, all of a sudden everything I was stressing about doesn't matter anymore. You know, it just changes your outlook, changes your perspective and just gives you such a strong insight. And that's, I guess, the definition of an aha moment. And so instead of filming the other video, I really want to share this one part of the fifth agreement with you. I was searching for it. I, I have it as a, an audible download on my library. and. Uh, and I was searching for that one part and I actually found it as a blog post. So um, I just want to give credit. This was written by Don Jose Ruiz and I really, really recommend you go out and download the book. I will put a link down below to Audible if you don't yet have it. There is um, a free download that you get when you sign up. So um, I'll put that in the description box down below. Um, but I'm just going to read this out to you because I really just want to share this with you. Hopefully you're listening to this at a time where you're not focusing on anything else. You can just relax and take a few minutes to kind of just um, picture this story and let this kind of seep in because I, I find it really powerful and I hope you enjoy it. Let's use the power of our imagination to create a dream together knowing that it's a dream. Imagine that you are in a gigantic mall where there are hundreds of movie theaters. You look around to see what's playing and you notice a movie that has your name. Amazing. You go inside the theater and it's empty except for one person. Very quietly, trying not to interrupt, you sit behind that person who doesn't even notice you. All that person's attention is on the movie. You look at the screen and what a big surprise. You recognize every character in the movie. Your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters, your beloved, your children, your friends. Then you see the main character of the movie and it's you. You are the star of the movie and it's the story of you. And that person in front of you, well, it's also you, watching yourself act in the movie. Of course, the main character is just the way you believe you are. And so are all the secondary characters because you know the story of you. After a while, you feel a little overwhelmed by everything you just witnessed and you decide to go into another theater. In this theater, there is also just one person watching a movie and she doesn't even notice you when you sit beside her. You start watching the movie and you recognize all the characters, but now you're a secondary character. This is the story of your mother's life and she is the one watching the movie with all her attention. Then you realize that your mother is not the same person who was in your movie. The way she projects herself is completely different in her movie. It's the way your mother wants everyone to perceive her. You know that it's not authentic. She's just acting. But then you begin to realize that it's the way she perceives herself, and it's kind of a shock. Then you notice that the character who has your face is not the same person who was in your movie. You say to yourself, ah, uh, this isn't me. But now you can see how your mother perceives you and what she believes about you, and it's far from what you believe about yourself. Then you see the other characters, your father, your siblings, the way your mother perceives them, and it's not all the way and it's not all the way you perceive them. You go to the next theater and it's the story of your beloved. Now you can see the way your beloved perceives you, and the character is completely different from the one who is in your movie and the one who is in your mother's movie. After seeing a few more theaters of the other people in your life, you decide to return to the first theater to see your own movie once again. You look at yourself acting in your movie, but you no longer believe anything you're watching. You no longer believe your own story because you can see that it's just a story. Now you know that all the acting you did your whole life was really for nothing because nobody perceives you the way that you want to be perceived. You can see that all the drama that happens in your movie isn't really noticed by anyone around you. 
They have all their own attention on their own story, and that is the only re reality that they live in. In that moment, everything changes for you. Nothing is the same anymore because now you see what's really happening. People live in their own world, in their own movie, in their own story. They invest all their faith in that story and that story is the truth for them. But it's a relative truth because it's not the truth for you. Now you see that all their opinions about you really concern the character who lives in their movie, not yours. The one who they are judging in your name is a character they create. Whatever people think of you is really about the image they have of you, and that image isn't you. At this point, it's clear that the people you love the most don't really know you, and you don't know them either. The only thing you know about them is what you believe about them. You only know the image you created for them, and that, Im and that image has nothing to do with the real people. Now, the meaning of the second agreement is profoundly clear. Don't take anything personally. This agreement gives you immunity in the interaction you have with the secondary characters in your story. You don't have to concern yourself with other people's points of view. Once you can see that nothing others say or do is about you, it doesn't matter who gossips about you, who blames you, who rejects you, who disagrees with your points of view. Don't take it personally is a beautiful tool of interaction with your own kind, human to human. And it's a big ticket to personal freedom because you no longer have to rule your life according to other people's opinions. This really frees you. You can do whatever you want to do, knowing that whatever you do has nothing to do with anyone but you. The only person who needs to be concerned about the story of you is you. <sighs> well, if you stuck with me through all that and you're still watching, I hope you felt something. When I heard that, when I heard this part of the audiobook, it was just really profound for me and I, it kind of just got me on a deeper level. It's like all of the things, like all of the anxieties you have, all of the insecurities you have, all of the fears, at least most of them are completely not even noticed by other people, are you know, irrelevant in their story and things that seem so real, like the, the things that stop you from enjoying your life to the full and for going for what you really want to experience in your life, all of that is, is a story that you're experiencing and it might seem so real to you, but is it really real? Something that this really helped me with was letting go of resentment toward other people. You know, maybe other people hurt you and, and treated you in a certain way and you're holding on to that deep down and how could they do this to me? How could they talk to me like that? Don't they know that they were causing me to feel this way? And if you were to really watch what went on, if you were to really watch the story that was going on in their life, they could have been feeling insecure, they could have been feeling fear, they could have seen the same scene that you experienced from your point of view in a totally different light and that movie was a totally different movie that they were experiencing and they were acting out of that. And I don't know, for me it just, that, that part of that audiobook really touched me and really kind of um, was very freeing. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I will link the audiobook in the description box down below. I love reading out books out loud. Like I'm thinking of maybe even having like another channel or a part of my channel where I read out audiobooks that I like, but I have to kind of figure that out with copyright. Um, obviously I'm giving credit and I'm not reading the entire book. Just that was a blog post that I found that I'm sharing. But um, there are some books that are in the public domain, so they're uh, free to share online. So I'm thinking about maybe recording some of those and sharing them with you guys. What do you think? Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. I love you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day.